It was a beautiful April morning when I arrived at the studio. And to my surprise and amazement, there was a pair of killdeer in the parking lot. They would fly about, land, run around, and made their signature call, kill deer. This went on all morning. And, and uh, as I was busy sculpting with the window open, I could, could see, see these birds. And I thought, well, time to uh, spend some time with these birds. I grabbed my camera and laying on the hot concrete in front of the studio at eye level with these small birds, I watched them moving around. And then all of a sudden there was a, a baby killdeer that appeared to be dead, laying there on the sidewalk. And then in a few moments it came alive. And then a few moments later, the second one, as I watched it fall through the sky and land, uh, it again, it looked dead. And then within a minute or so, it had come to life and it was uh, pecking, and feeding, and, and moving around. The killdeer are a ground nester, but um, evidently our studio has interrupted their natural habitat, so they move to the um, nest on the roof between the solar panels and the gravel up there. And when the killdeer, after they're born, they leave the nest within 24 hours. And so the parents, where they're making all this ruckus all morning, were um, calling the chicks to come jump off the roof and join them. And that's what we, we witnessed here today. Now the killdeer had to make their trek across our parking lot and the busy traffic of A1A and then on to cross the railroad tracks to get to their new habitat. The birds eventually made it. We uh, did our part to stop traffic. Uh, animal control and the sheriff were here uh, to help us out with that. The last little hurdle, the chicks couldn't, couldn't quite make it over the railroad tracks and animal control. They uh, picked each chick up and got it over the tracks so that they could uh, go off to their new habitat. The killdeer typically have four to six uh, eggs. Uh, here we only had two that jumped off the roof, so I don't know if they uh, didn't make it off the roof or they didn't hatch, but we watched the family of two baby chicks make it all the way across to hopefully where they can grow up over here in Port Slam.